tonight. Well, this is a first of its kind lawsuit filed by Oklahoma City, and it is targeting the world's oldest profession. The city says one business is supporting prostitutes, and the owner's refusing to help. Tonight, Rusty Surratt is at the lone truck stop that's named in that suit. Rusty? Well, the owner here says he has tried everything to stop the prostitutes from trolling his truck stop. But the city does not believe it, so they are taking him straight to court. What you're looking at is proof that prostitutes don't care if it's day or night. They're here to tempt truckers who will pay for their services. So if you're that trucker looking for that kind of action, then this is going to be your truck stop of choice. John TV's Brian Bates is all too familiar with the five-star truck stop on I-35. This is where he shot these videos, but he says the owner of the truck stop chased him off. I've been documenting prostitution and help getting prosecutions for 15 years. In that time, this is the only time that a commercial property owner has ever come to me and said, get off my property, I'll have you arrested. Apparently, the city's having the same troubles. So Oklahoma City has filed a lawsuit demanding that the owner do something to stop the tricks or be forced to close. The owner says he's complied with police from the very beginning, but Bates, nor the city, is buying it. I've gone on the property of many truck stops in the metro area. This is the only one that will not allow me on their property. And here's the other reason this truck stop is such a hot spot. Bates says it's pretty easy for the hookers and their johns to just come across the fence and then check in for an hour or two. This truck stop is the hardest one to get to. It's usually got higher gas. It's not a major brand like the other ones are. Why else would you come here unless you're looking for a little bit of commercial company? And that lawsuit says the owner should hire more security, add additional security officers or some, some uh, surveillance cameras, and just overall do a better job at trying to keep the prostitutes away. But the owner told me today he's tried all that, so he doesn't know what else to do. We'll keep you posted on this. Yeah, it'll be you. an interesting case to follow, Rusty. Thank you. Now, this suit is the first from the police department's nuisance, nuisance abatement unit, which was formed nearly three years ago.